Thank you for your interest in Fulbright Scholarships. My name's Alex and today I just wanted to give you a bit of a summary of the program, what kinds of scholarships we offer and how to apply. So Fulbright Scholarships are essentially your ticket to study or research at some of the world's most prestigious institutions. When applying for a Fulbright, it's important to understand the history of the program, how it began, and why we've awarded these scholarships for over 70 years. So in 1946, a junior senator from Arkansas, Senator J. William Fulbright, had this idea to create a program of international exchange funded through the sale of surplus war armaments left over after World War II. As a Rhodes Scholar himself, Senator Fulbright understood the transformative power of international exchange. He believed that increased communication and cultural understanding between nations would reduce the likelihood of future conflict. Since then, the program has grown to become one of the largest in the world, operating between the United States and over 160 countries. The Australian program began in 1949 and we've awarded over 5,000 scholarships in our 70 year history. So in Australia, we award over 100 scholarships annually and they're available in all disciplines, all graduate academic levels and all career stages. Our awards come in four categories, postgraduate scholarships for PhD and master's students, postdoctoral scholarships for postdoctoral researchers, scholar awards for academics at associate or full professor level or mid-career professionals, and the distinguished chair scholarship for a full professor to undertake research in agriculture and life sciences at Kansas State University. Fulbright postgraduate scholarships are for graduate students who wish to undertake a full US master's degree, so one to two years. They're also for current Australian PhD students who are looking to complete a period of research in the US as a visiting student researcher up to 10 months. Finally, they're also for Australian students we're seeking to undertake a full US PhD up to five years, but only under the Fulbright Future Program. As mentioned, these awards are open to all fields and disciplines. We have placement services in the US who will help degree seeking students find a university and course that suits their academic interests and trajectory, but visiting student researchers are required to obtain a letter of invitation from their host university prior to applying. So here's a look at all the awards offered in the postgraduate scholarship category in 2021. The general pool of awards is open to any field or discipline. The Fulbright Future Scholarships, which I'll go into a little bit further detail after this, are available in all categories and are aimed at applicants who would like to make an impact with their study or research. The Fulbright and Wexler Scholarship in Public Policy funded by the Department of Education, is specifically aimed at students who are looking to undertake a one to two year master's degree in any area of public health or public policy. The Fulbright Indigenous Scholarship, funded by the National Indigenous Australians Agency, is available in all categories and is for applicants who identify as Indigenous. Fulbright State and Territory Scholarships are available for postgraduates in every state and territory and are for applicants who want to contribute to their state, territory or home community through their study or research. The Fulbright Postgraduate Scholarship funded by Florida Polytechnic University is for one of two master's degrees at Florida Poly, Master of Science, Computer Science or Master of Science, Engineering. Here are the awards offered in the postdoctoral scholarships category. So the general pool is again open to all fields and disciplines. The Fulbright Future Scholarships funded by the Kinghorn Foundation are also available in the postdoctoral category. The Fulbright Postdoctoral Scholarship Vice Chancellor's Fellowship funded by RMIT University is aimed at postdoctoral researchers who'd like to undertake programs of research that align with one or more of RMIT University's enabling capability platforms. For, for more information, check out our website. The Fulbright Postdoctoral Scholarship funded by Monash University 
is aimed at postdoctoral researchers who are looking to address some of the grand challenges of our age with their research. Fulbright Indigenous Scholarship, funded by the National Indigenous Australians Agency, is also available in the postdoctoral category. The Fulbright State and Territory Scholarships are also available in the postdoctoral category, but only for ACT, Northern Territory and Tasmania-based applicants. So as you can see, there are quite a few awards on offer in the Scholar Award category in 2021. Along with the General Pool and Future Awards, we have the Fulbright Professional Scholarship in Nonprofit Leadership, funded by Perpetual Limited and supported by the Australian Scholarships Foundation, which is for professionals in the nonprofit sector who are keen to undertake research at a charitable US organisation. We have the Fulbright Professional Scholarship in Australia United States Alliance Studies, funded by the Department of Foreign Affairs and Trade, which is for early or mid career academics or professionals from relevant public or private organisations to undertake research into contemporary aspects of the Australia-US alliance. The Fulbright Professional Coral Sea Scholarship is for early mid-career academics or professionals who are looking to undertake a short course of study or research regarding an identified problem or opportunity relevant to Australian industry or business. The Fulbright Professional Scholarship in Vocational Education and Training, funded by the Department of Education, is for professionals in the VET sector or training leaders in business and industry, including teachers, managers and administrators of private and public registered training organisations, to undertake research into a VET-related topic. The Fulbright Scholar Award, funded by Kansas State University, is for academics who are looking to undertake research or a collaborative project at Kansas State University. So check out our website for their research strengths. The Fulbright Scholar Award funded by the University of Wyoming is for academics who are looking to undertake research and teach two classes per semester that are strategically aligned to University of Wyoming priority research areas. So again, check out our website for more info on what those are. The Fulbright Scholar Award funded by Florida Polytechnic University Similarly, is for academics who are looking to undertake research and teach classes that are strategically aligned to Florida Polytech's research priority areas. So check out our website for more. The Fulbright Indigenous Scholarships are also available in the Scholar Award category, as are the Fulbright State and Territory Scholarships, but only for ACT, Northern Territory and Tasmania-based applicants. The Fulbright Future Scholarships, funded by the Kinghorn Foundation, are an exciting program of awards that started a couple of years ago. They're available across all of our categories and all disciplines are accepted, but science, technology and medicine are preferred. These awards cover full tuition and full visiting researcher fees at any institution in the US, along with the other benefits of a Fulbright Scholarship. In order to qualify for these awards, your proposed study or research must have the potential for significant and tangible impact. A strong application for these awards will also ideally aim to improve the lives, livelihoods and or prosperity of Australians. To indicate your interest in being considered for the Fulbright Future Program, simply tick the designated box on the application checklist and provide a one-page statement outlining the impact potential of your proposed study or research. So in terms of eligibility and selection criteria, our awards are for Australian citizens only. You can hold dual citizenship with anywhere but the US. You must have an undergraduate degree to apply for a Fulbright, but there's no age limit and it's open to any field and any host institution. In terms of selection criteria, we're of course looking for academic and professional excellence, but it's not limited to that. We're also looking for ambassadorial skills. As per Senator Fulbright's original vision, Fulbright scholars are essentially cultural ambassadors for Australia and for the program itself. So we're looking for adaptability, personability, people who are outgoing, people who are empathetic, willing to listen, willing to communicate and willing to learn. Another important aspect is the relevance of your proposed program of study or research in terms of why the US. So why does your research or study need to be undertaken in the US? The potential outcomes or impact of your proposed course of study or research will also be considered by the selection committee. 
So the application components are similar to those of many other grant or scholarship applications. First and foremost is a project proposal. So here you can outline your proposed course of study or research, where you'd like to do it, and what its potential impacts or benefits might be. Try not to use too much uh, academic jargon because the selection committees may not be experts in your particular field of study or research. Here you can also outline the relevance of your project to Australia or the US. Next is the personal statement. Here is an opportunity for you to articulate your personal motivations for your current career trajectory. You can talk about any underlying motivating factors that encourage you to pursue this current course of study or research. All applications require a minimum of two confidential referee reports, but three are recommended. For these, we encourage you to reach out to a network beyond your immediate colleagues. Try to secure at least one personal, one professional and one academic recommendation. As mentioned, degree seeking students do not require a confirmed host prior to applying. However, visiting student researchers, postdoctoral researchers, academics and scholars do need to reach out to potential host institution prior to applying in order to secure a letter of invitation. This lets us know that your proposed host is willing to host you for the duration of your scholarship time. We also require complete academic transcripts for any degrees referenced within your application, as well as the application checklist that lets us know which awards you'd like to be considered for and any relevant impact statements required for those awards. Applications are open from January to July each year and selected applicants will be invited for interview in August or September. All applicants will receive notification of the outcome by the end of the year and successful recipients must commence their programs between July or June of the following year. So applicants in 2021, for example, will need to commence their scholarship after July 2022, but before June of 2023. So the Fulbright website, www.fulbright.org.au, is the best place to start your application journey. There's lots of in-depth scholarship information, FAQs, profiles of alumni, YouTube tutorials such as this one, and application instructions that will help you get on your way to applying for a Fulbright scholarship. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out to our scholarships team at fulbright at fulbright.org.au or call our office at 02-6260-4460. We're also on social media, so feel free to check out our Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, and YouTube. Thanks a lot for listening and good luck with your Fulbright scholarship application.